hey, this is the Andrew Guy again, and we're just making science a little bit more practical. Today, what we're going to be talking about is energy. Energy. They say energy cannot be created or destroyed. Yes, it's just there. But the only thing that happens with energy is that it changes the forms from one form to the next. So you don't really kill energy. You can't get rid of energy. It's everywhere. As I speak to you, there's energy coming out of me. As you listen, there's energy. Energy being produced, basically in the cell by the mitochondria, but we won't even get into that right now. We're going to talk about energy, and we're going to use your favorite thing, the roller coaster. Let's go for a ride. Okay? Let's go. All right. I'm going to use today, I'm going to first of all talk briefly about energy. So I'm going to make sure it's big. If my writing is just big, it's all the better for you to see it. Okay? So I'm going to make a little roller coaster, like something like that. Okay? And then up here, I'm going to put like a little box, okay? Again, remember, I am not here for my artistic skills or else I will not be explaining this, all right? I will be making money as an art teacher. All right, wait a minute. So listen, these people are up here and, they, and their hands are up and they're excited and they're at the top, right? So now what's happening, we call that whole potential. Okay, so it has the potential to do something, all right? So now, then it's going to come down this hill. When it reaches down this hill and it starts to move, so we got what? Moving or slash movement. When we have movement happening, then we call that what? Kinetic energy, which is also called energy in motion. So we got energy in motion happening right here, so that's kinetic energy, all right? But then something happens right here as it's smooth and it levels out, okay? This right here, we're going to call that a constant. So we have a constant. Let's, let's look at it again. So we're going to call this here P, we're going to call this here K, and then we're going to call this here C. P, K, C. That's how you look at it. The first part up here is the potential um, energy, the potential to do something. So, you know, um, if you get mad at somebody and you raise your hand like this, you have the potential to do something, either slap them or give them a warning. But in everything we do, that's that energy that we have to either disperse it or use it to do something. In this case, what we're trying to say is that the roller coaster is here. And up here at the top of the roller coaster, we have this thing happen up here. The people are up here. They have a potential to come down the hill. But before they come down, something must happen. One thing must happen. It's for gravity to pull them down. All right? Remember, gravity is a pulling force that pulls downwards. All right? It's almost like saying, yes. So when you think of gravity, you think, yes. That means you got it, okay? So gravity pulls down, but it's also a force. Remember, force, I know we're talking about quite a bit here, but I wanted to explain what force is. Force is basically a push or a pull. A push or a pull. In this case, we're talking about gravity or G-force, and the force is pulling them down. That's what causes the actual roller coaster to come down. So from here, let's go back over at P, my potential, when it starts to move and pick up speed, we call that kinetic or energy in motion. And then down here is constant. That means it's decreasing. All right? So let's look at it one more time. Here I got my potential energy. Let's say there's no movement here. So let's put N, M, no movement. But down here, we have movement. We can call that an increase. So let me erase so you can take some notes. All right. I don't want to keep you, so I want to make sure I go as fast as I can. So here, right now we have an increase in speed. SPD is short for speed. So I have an increase in speed here. And then right here, I have a decrease in speed. And then here, we may come to a stop. So first thing that happened, we have an increase, we, we pick up speed, we have an increase in speed or potential to increase the speed, then we increase in this speed, and then when we increase in this speed, then we decrease in this speed. Then we decrease in this speed, then we come to a stop. But there's one more thing that I, I forgot to tell you about, I'm going to talk about it right now, and it's, it's a force 
that causes me to slow down. It's a force that causes me to slow down. And let me make that clear. That if I'm going in this direction right here, okay, there's something, there's another force that's actually pulling me back the opposite way. Now, this force that's pulling me back the opposite way is called, that's right, you got it. It's called friction. Friction is an opposing force that prevents me or stop me from doing something or slows me down, okay? If you're a basketball player and you're running down the court and you're going for the ball and then you hear your shoes make that little sound, beep, 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 basically it's friction that's slowing you down. So if the, the actual motion is going this way to the right, then the question would be, which way or in what direction, in what direction is the actual force pulling you? The opposite direction. In this case, it would be left. Make sense? We talked a lot about a lot of things today. And I know you're going to want to go back and review this video so it can sink in. All right? Remember, we talk about P, we talk about K, we talk about C. Potential, kinetic, and what? Constant, all right? We say energy is what? Cannot be created or destroyed. It just basically changes different forms, all right? And so that's kind of what we, what's going on right now. There's somebody knocking on my door, so I have to go. Until then, leave me a comment, and we'll get back to you. Take care.